In this video, we will look at an important concept in biomedical imaging known as half value layer. We will also look at concepts related to half value layer. First thing is, what is half value layer? So, we have some sodium iodide crystal block, right? Let's call it a block. Let's say some n number of photons pass through the block in this side. As it passes through blo the block, which is matter, there will be interaction between these photons and this matter. Because of that, as they pass and exit through this side of the block, the photons would have attenuated. That is, the number of photons would have dropped as they pass through this. So there is always attenuation of light as they interact with matter. Now, if 100% of photons enter this side, and this attenuation depends on how thick this block is. It also depends on the material of the block. Let's fix the material. Let's take it to be sodium iodide. The amount of attenuation depends on how thick this block is. Now, the thickness at which attenuation, that is a draw, is 50% is known as half value layer. Okay, so now let's look at the example problem. What we are given is, we are given, first of all, it says 120 kilo electron volts. Why is that? Because this concept of half value layer is, is it's an nice approximation when you are talking about monochromatic light. That is, light of photons of the same energy or wavelength. Because of that, we are given, they all have 120 kilo electron volt energy. Fine. So HPL is applicable and we can proceed further. Now the total length of the sodium iodide is 1 centimeter. Right? And half value layer is given to be 0.2 centimeters. So if 100% of protons enter this side, after one half value layer, how much will be left? He will be left with 100 by 2. That is 50%. If the photons enter two half value layers, how much will be left? Total percent entering by 2 power 2. There is a drop of half here, that half becomes quarter here. Okay? Clear. If the photons enter n number of half layers, what will be the drop? It will be 1 by 2 power n. Each half layer there is a drop of half. By the time it comes out of a thickness of n half layers, it will be 1 by 2 power. So then, so there is this 0.2 and then we have like 5 half layers here. 0 0.2, 0 0.2, 0 0.2 that makes 1 centimeters. So by the time it comes to 0 0.6 centimeters, we are left with 100 by half of this which is 2 power 3. By the time we enter 0 0.8 centimeters, we are left with 100 by half of this, which is 2 power 4. By the time we exit this side, we are left with 100 by 2 power 5. This value, I think, is 3.125, which is the answer for the original question. Good. But now let's try to understand all the concepts related to half value layer. First of all, why is there attenuation happening as photon passes through matter? There are four reasons. First is there is Rayleigh scattering. Second is there is photoelectric effect. Third is there is Compton scattering. And fourth, there is pair production. So this half value layer is a combination of all these effects. The effect of attenuation of all this are considered in the given half value layer. It's not just purely due to photoelectric effect or purely due to content scattering. It's a combination of all four. Fine. At this stage, a very curious student might ask, okay, we know what to do if things pass through thickness of integer half value layers, which is 1 by 2 power 10, right? One half value layer drops by half. Another half value layer drops by another half. But what if 
what if the total thickness is somewhere in between say one half value layer and two half value layers say it's 1.5 half value layers how much will the drop be now the answer to that question is very very simple so let's take the intensity of light in the y axis and the amount it passes through the material in the x axis okay all this half value drops if we connect them it forms an exponential curve where the total number of photons exiting through the material in this side that is n is given by the photons that enter the material in this side the starting number of photons which is n naught that multiplied by e power minus mu times the distance it passes through the material x okay so mu is known as the linear attenuation coefficient where the constant de describes the exponential drop x is the amount of distance that photons pass through it okay at this point i am going to pose you three very important questions related to half value layer first can you relate half value layer to the linear attenuation coefficient mu first question so can you relate mu and hvl it is possible to do it's very simple to do try to use the exponential relationship and show find try to find the relationship between them second similar to half value layer there is something known as tvl find out what tvl is okay it's very simple just go try to find it and last question there is another parameter used to describe attenuation of light passing through material that is known as the mean free path how is the mean free path related to the attenuation coefficient and in turn to the half value layer try to figure that one out leave your answers in the comment sections i hope in this video you understood what a half value layer is and uh, now i think you are able to apply it in practical problems now try to go further and answer the questions that i have posed by doing so you will get a much deeper understanding and you will reinforce your understanding let us know your answers in the comment section i'll see you with another video good luck